We received quite a number of complaints from our fake Chinese foods that can kill you video series on how come we don't cover foods that is eaten daily in the Western world that have ingredients that are just as deadly and carcinogenic. So before you have your next meal, watch this video first to see if the food that you're about to eat makes this list of the most harmful ingredients found in your food. Once you see just how bad some of these foods can be, it might make you want to put your fork down for a while. The scary thing is, these might be the foods that you're consuming daily and there's no real information on potential health concerns that may arise from it as they want to keep you in the dark. So watch this video to the end so you can be aware of what you're putting into your body. But first, share the video, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get right to the video. Number 1. Processed Meats Someone can argue that processed meats are probably the best things since sliced bread. And matter of fact, it does go great with sliced bread, like ham in a sandwich. Processed meats also include foods we eat daily such as bacon, sausage, hot dogs, and other cured deli meats such as salami. Well here is a bombshell for you. According to the World Health Organization, also known as WHO, processed meats are classified as a group 1 carcinogen. And what that means is that it's been identified as foods known to cause cancer. There's substantial evidence that consumption of processed meats can increase risk of bowel and stomach cancer. Research shows that processed meats contain certain chemicals similar to red meats such as beef, pork, and lamb. It can be either natural or added during the processing of the meats. So when these chemicals are broken down during consumption, n nitrosyl chemicals are formed and can be potentially carcinogenic. Also, chemicals such as nitrate and nitrate preservatives that are added to processed meats to preserve and extend shelf life can also be carcinogenic. When cooked at high temperatures, such as on a barbecue grill, more compounds are produced, increasing the risk further. That also explains it has been warned to not eat the extensively burned parts of meats and best to put it aside. It has been advised by experts that if you are unable to cut processed meats out of your diet entirely, then it's best to keep your consumption to as minimal as possible. Number 2. Trans Fat According to Mayo Clinic, trans fat is double the trouble for your heart health. It is the worst kind of fat to consume because it raises your bad cholesterol while lowering your good cholesterol, all of which is essential for a healthy heart. If your diet consumes the foods that are heavy in trans fat, you are increasing your risk of blood vessel and heart disease, which is the leading killer in adults, men and women according to an article by Medical News Today. Artificial trans fat is produced through an industrial process in which vegetable oils are chemically altered by adding hydrogen to make it solid at room temperatures, which results in longer shelf life. Trans fat can be found in everyday foods that you might be consuming, such as baked goods that include cakes, pies, and cookies, microwavable popcorn, biscuits, steak margarine, non-dairy coffee creamer, fried foods, and frozen pizza as listed by Mayo Clinic. Some restaurants might also use partially hydrogenated vegetable oils in deep fryers as it's cheaper and does not have to be changed as often as other oils. The good news is the FDA has banned the use of artificial trans fat in 2015 as it deemed it unsafe with links to heart attacks. However, despite the ban, there still might be a catch to this. If the food has less than 0.5 grams of trans fat in the serving, the manufacturers can put 0 grams of trans fat in the labeling according to an article by The Insider. So it is advised that the best way to stay trans fat free is to look to see if the ingredients have anything labeled with or partially hydrogenated oil at all. Number 3. Instant Noodles Ah, those infamous instant noodles sold in packets, cups, or bowls. Just boil some water, pour it into the noodles, and stir for a few minutes, and magic, dinner is ready. Well, just to let you know, there's a big sacrifice to your health for this convenience. That's because instant noodles may contain MSG, which is a common additive found in many processed foods. It is also high in fat, carbs, and the most dangerous ingredient of it all, sodium. That is because many instant noodles are loaded with tons of sodium per serving. There are some with as high as 2,000 mg's of sodium per pack. Now considering the World Health Organization recommendations of 2,000 mg's of sodium intake per day for an average adult, a single pack of instant noodles can easily surpass that suggested sodium intake for the day. A diet high in salt can cause high blood pressure, which in turn can impact the kidneys and heart and increase risk for strokes, heart attack, and kidney failure. You might want to think twice next time you reach for that pack of instant noodles. 
Number four, artificial sweeteners. It seems like when we drink diet sodas and use artificial sweeteners for our coffee, we might actually be doing more harm than good. Most people are well aware that too much sugar can cause diabetes and other health concerns. That is why many turn to diet sodas and artificial sweeteners as healthier alternatives to avoid consuming all that sugar. But how much of us are really truly aware of some of these potentially harmful ingredients in these artificial sweeteners lying in wait for unsuspecting and uninformed consumers? This ingredient in question is called aspartame. It's one of the most common used sugar substitutes. This sweetener is that is found in equal and neutral sweet that you might be using for your coffee. This was what became aspartame. Aspartame, the one in the blue packets, quickly became the most used artificial sweetener in the food and beverage industry worldwide and still claims the largest share of the artificial sweetener market. As more Americans gain weight and try to lose it, consumption of all artificial sweeteners grows annually. It is likely the sweetener that is in zero sugar and diet sodas, such as Diet Coke, as addressed on the Coca-Cola website. Although aspartame has been approved as safe to consume by the FDA, it has faced controversy and critics on how safe it really is. Despite the FDA initially holding off on approval due to concerns about a connection to brain tumors. Number five, artificial food coloring. Just judging by the way it sounds, it doesn't seem like something that would be good for you, and more than likely, it's not. This is especially so for food dyes that is cherry red and orange red. That is because red dye number 40 is one of the most widely used food dyes for food with this color. Red dye 40, which is an artificial food dye made from petroleum, can be found in foods like chocolate cake, cereal, pastries, beverages, candy, jello, yogurt, fruit snacks, and the list just goes on and on. In our food have been removed from food in Europe because of health concerns. As you'll see, a food safety scientist is blaming the FDA. Our investigation begins with a Johnston County family who traced their son's extreme behavioral problems to red food dye. He says he can feel it happening in his body. Red dye makes him lose control. It's just no reason why children should have to suffer these kinds of adverse reactions, why families should have to spend years trying to track down the culprit for their child's problems when we could just simply not be using these chemicals in our food. Now, according to an article by PubMed, Red Dye 40 has been found to contain benzene and other carcinogens that are harmful for consumption. According to Healthline, Red Dye 40 has been traced to allergies, aggressive behavior in children, and other mental disorders such as ADHD. It might be best to check the ingredients on the foods your child eats to ensure that they have the best possible behavior. If you are interested in learning more about deadly toxic ingredients that may be in your food, check out this book, Toxic Foods, a list of food ingredients and food additives to avoid entirely. For a no-nonsense, get-to-the-point book about toxic food ingredients and additives that are found in food. It is currently available on Amazon and the link will be in the description box below. Until then, share the video with those who you care about to inform them. Like, subscribe, and leave your comments. Until the next video, stay informed and Genius Tomato out.